Oh. So, uh, I live in Florida, as you know. And so, if I was going to say, well, I'm sorry, I can't talk. I'm exhausted. You'll see why in a minute. Anyway, somebody say, what'd you do during the hurricane, uh, Matthew? What was your adventure? Well, it was this. This is my bathroom. <laughs> was my bathroom. It's my bathroom in remodeling stage. So, I got me one of those saws. This is the second one. The first one kept quitting on me. Oh, it was terrible. So, I went back two or three times. Finally, they gave me a new one out of the box, and that baby cuts like crazy. <sighs> so this is phase one. Well, not phase one. I already done drywall. It's not completely finished, but I wanted to get this floor business done. Uh, so that was the old shower, and that was where the sink was, and the toilet was there. I don't know. Just call me insane or nuts or whatever you want. But anyway, so what I what I'm doing is moving the new toilet or the toilet that I will use after this, I know this is too much information, will be here facing that way. So that's going to get either a door or a big window. So while, I'm, while nature is calling, I can view nature. How's that? All right. So over there, we're going to build that up about three or four inches, and that's going to be a shower. That'll be the shower, again, with nature to the outside. Sink goes there. I think it's going to be glass walls. It's, I change stuff all the time. Anyway, so since I move stuff, uh, I needed to cut. So that hole is for the drain for the shower, which comes over to the main line. This is the main sewer line out of the house. That thing's been there since 1949, I think. So I get to cut that and make everything else happen with it. And then the sink's going to go over there, so I have to have a drain line running here that ties into there and as again that's the toilet so that has to tie in we cut away all that stuff backfill it blah blah blah, blah concrete the whole deal anyway so what's the lesson to be learned in this and by the way this wet when you cut concrete you get wet water well wet water of course all over the damn place but then when you walk through the living room you track it all over the floor even though you try to do your best and put down a something I mean, I still have tracks all over the place. So, anyway, that's the story from here. You like that door? Isn't that just beautiful? And you can see I've got my drywall ready for the stuff. Oh, this is a bonus. Uh, in the bathroom, you use a different kind of drywall for those. And look at that. It's purple. That's how, So where you got high moisture, you use the purple. It used to be green, but I don't know why they changed the color, but it's okay with me. Anyway, so that's the story. So I've got to get all those blocks of concrete out the window, the dirt. I've got to dig those trenches down. I got to do all that. So that's what's on the agenda, I guess, Monday or so. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the tour. Bye-bye.